Hello, my name is Lars Mool and I'm uh, what you would call a spiritual scientist or metaphysician. We've been working with metaphysics and spirituality for 50 years. It all started when I was 15 years old and I was really in a very bad condition. And um, one day I just uh, uh, received with mail a small book that I later find out was written by a Sufi master called Hasra Inayat Khan and um, it was a small book of aphorisms of, of his, from his teachings and um, I opened it randomly and just found uh, the first aphorism that was, went something like this If you will approach us we will bow down and lift you up. And you know, to me, this was really the angel speaking to me. And from that moment on, I started my, my what you call spiritual path. Uh, and from that moment on, I read everything I could get hold of on, on especially uh, Hasrat in Ayat Khan and Sufism and so forth. But later on, I, I uh, started investigating all other traditions, Taoism and Hinduism and Judaism and um, at last I came around to Christianity because uh, as Dada, the Dalai Lama says, I, I was fortunate to meet him a few years ago and he said to me that he didn't understand that so many people uh, were um, converting to Buddhism here in the West because uh, as he said it's not uh, a coincidence that you were born in a Christian society. The only problem is that Christianity in our uh, here in Europe is stagnated in many ways because uh, at one point back hundreds of years ago some misunderstandings occurred of what Christianity was all about. And in the 80s, I stumbled on the Aramaic language, the language that Jesus or Yeshua uh, spoke. And it, this became really my uh, secret tool to uh, spirit, spiritual science, because when you understand the, the language of Jesus, you really also try to understand that he was not a person who wanted to establish a church as we know it he ain't now part of town uh, of the world but he wanted to set each of us free uh, in 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 such a way that we understood and understand how, where we come from who we are what we are doing here and where we are going so really in my view Yeshua or Jesus was the first real metaphysician physician and he was from he was educated in uh, the old mystery school of the Essenes that we know from uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls um, and uh, if you have ever visited uh, Qumran at the Dead Sea and seen the old university uh, you actually are standing at the place where Yeshua, he got most of his education. So this is a tradition that is really in the mystery school of the scenes, they knew everything about um, all the things that quantum physics like Einstein and Max Planck and David Bohm and so forth are talking about today on a theoretical level. All that they knew on a factual level because it was part of their experience from their practice. So this is really what I've been into for many years now to find um, the secret behind their practice because that is really the, the root of the esoteric part of Christianity. So this, this is what I'm into very much. So hopefully you will, you will follow my journey in my books, first of all, the Seer and the Magdalene and the Grail, which uh, are, are um, 
the, the making of the old manuscript, the trilogy, the old manuscript. But hopefully I'll see you soon when I come to France and to Germany and to Holland to do my teachings and share with you everything that I have experienced through my work. Thank you.